Today we're going to be talking about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis? What exactly is photosynthesis? Well, photosynthesis is a process that converts radiant energy into chemical energy. The photo part means light, and synthesis means to make something new. Okay, so is it taking in light to make something new? Exactly. All right, where does the light come from? The light comes from the sun in the form of radiant energy. I rem remember learning about radiant energy being light energy from the sun. Isn't it also called solar energy? Yes, you can call it both, but we'll refer to it as radiant energy. The chloroplast is where photosynthesis occurs. It captures the radiant energy from the sun and converts it to chemical energy in the form of glucose. Okay, so the chloroplast is only found in plants. I remember learning that from the last unit. I also noticed that glucose ends in OSE, so it must be a sugar. Right. The actual chemical equation that we use to describe photosynthesis is 6H2O plus 6CO2 yields C6H12O6 plus 6O2. All right, so basically that's water plus carbon dioxide makes or yields glucose and oxygen. Exactly. So what are the numbers in front of the chemical formulas? The number and the equation are like a recipe. They tell us how many of each molecule of water in carbon dioxide we need in order to make the glucose. So it takes six molecules of water and six molecules of carbon dioxide? Yes. The reactants are on the left side and then the products are on the right side. For photosynthesis, the reactants are water and carbon dioxide, and the products um, are always on the left-hand side, and they're glucose and oxygen. So water and carbon dioxide are on the left side of the arrow, so they must be the reactants. The products are glucose, a sugar, and oxygen, which are on the right side of the arrow. Is it like this for all chemical equations? For all chemical equations, the reactants are always on the left side and the products are always on the right side. Alright, so that's pretty easy to remember. So six water molecules plus six carbon dioxide molecules will react to yield or produce one glucose molecule and six oxygen molecules? Right. So now we already said that photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast. Which means it's only in plant cells because plants have chloroplasts. Right. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplasts of the plant leaves because they are green. The green color called chlorophyll is a pigment that is needed in order to absorb the radiant energy. Chlorophyll is located in the plant organelle called the chloroplast. Okay, so the chloroplast contains chlorophyll, which makes the plant green. And the chlorophyll is important because it absorbs the radiant energy needed for photosynthesis to occur? Exactly. Plants are autotrophs, which means they make their own food. Oh yeah, I know that auto means self and troph means nutrition. Right, therefore photosynthesis is the way that plants make their own nutrition in order to survive. The organelle where photosynthesis occurs is the chloroplast. The pigment that absorbs radiant energy is chlorophyll. Chloroplasts are plentiful in leaves. In the chemical equation for photosynthesis, you'll notice the raw materials or reactants are on the left and the products are on the right. The reactants for photosynthesis are six molecules of water plus six molecules of carbon dioxide and the products are going to be glucose and six molecules of oxygen.